Welcome back! I feel like that song You know when it's like, y'all ready for this? Happy Swatch Fest Day! So, as you know, on Saturdays or whatever day you end up coming for this video, but I always upload it on Saturdays, I'm going to swatch 10 random polishes from my collection for you. These are not polishes that have shown up in any recent or any reviews really on my channel. These are like random, so they're not from a collection that I reviewed in entirety. And I really want to talk about them, but I don't have a collection to review them for you in. So that's what we're going to do. I hope that you enjoy. I think I have every shade of the rainbow here, don't I? Yes, I think I do, so that's always exciting for me. We're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I hope you had an absolutely fabulous week, and we are going to get going. So, red today, we're gonna talk about a pure ice polish, and I'm still on the hunt for those new four fall polishes from Pure Ice. I've seen them on their Instagram, and they look lovely, but until then, we're gonna talk about some summer polish from Pure Ice. So, this one's a demi matte. It says limited edition, so I hope you can spot it if you um, wanna go look for this. I actually really liked it. It's called Hello Summer. So it's a beautiful orangey red. It does dry demi matte. Um, it's, I guess it, I guess that's what it means when it dries matte, but there's a little bit of still gleam that can bounce off of it. It's pretty matte. Um, it's really, really pretty though. As you know, I like matte polishes, but you can just easily just slap a quick top coat on this if you like the shade. Pure Ice polishes are just, um, just under $2 at Walgreens if you've never tried them before. I always do like them a lot. I did two coats on this bad boy and I really liked it. polish we're going to talk about is a pink OPI shade and this is called Feeling Hot 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 and I think I recorded that song for a swatch fest a while ago. Then you know how that song goes, Feeling Hot Hot Hot. When I was a kid there were two show choirs when I was growing up, the middle school show choir and the high school show choir. And of course, when you were in the middle school show choir, you always looked up to the high school. And my sister was in the high school. My sister is six, seven years older than me. So when she was in the high school show choir, they were just so cool. And they were singing this song and it wasn't that decade or anything, but they were singing it and I thought that they were really cool. And that's what I think whenever I think of this song and the lyric here that is the name of this polish. Okay onto the polish. This is a beautiful um, kind of deepened cotton candy pink. This has a great two coat formula. I really liked it. I had never even heard of this polish before but it did pop up at my Marshalls a couple weeks ago and I snagged it so I liked it. mentioned in a while and for all my new subscribers um, all the music that you hear on my channel is produced and recorded by me here at my house on my piano and if you are ever wondering where you can go to listen to this music without it being dissected with beautiful polish and polished chit chat and whatnot you can actually go to my second channel which is just called Phoebe Moon 2 and it is basically all music there so um, I try to usually within the same month that I record a song for Swatch Fest, I try to get its video uploaded on that channel. So I always link that channel in the description bar below, but you can just go search it on YouTube. It's Phoebe Moon 2. And if you want to subscribe to that channel, you will get updated whenever I put a video up on that channel as well, if you would like to. So that's where it is. All right, so my orange shade today is kind of, it's kind of an orange, kind of a, kind of a, um, nudie shade. This is from Torrid and I went into Torrid for the very, well not, I didn't go into it for the first time but I purchased from them for the first time 
ever the other day because they're having a pretty fantastic sale on pants. They're having buy one get two free and so I was like all right yes I'm needing some new pants for this season. So I found one that I really liked. One that was okay but it's way too long. So I'm very short. I'm 5'4 and I'm like in between 16 and 18 right now which they do their sizing kind of weird there but that's what I'm kind of in between and so um, they're always way too long for me so you always need to buy the short size but in their clearance they didn't have any of those on sale of course they only had the stuff that people hadn't bought so I couldn't actually find three pairs of pants that I wanted to purchase even though it was such a great deal so then she said well get these pants and then you can get a shirt for free so then it took me a really long time to find a shirt too because everything was really picked through. But I picked up this shirt and it's just, I, I can't even get on my tippy toes high enough to show you. It has Ariel on it. It's really, really cute. I'm sure you'll see me in it on Snapchat and stuff. But so anyway, that was the story. I was telling you how I shopped at Torrid and I noticed that they have nail polish there. Now I have an inkling that this is made by the same brand that makes the Blackheart Beauty polishes that, um, Hot Topic carries. Are Hot Topic and Torrid brother and sister brands? I feel like one of you have told me that before. Anyway, their labels look exactly the same. So anyway, this is called Pale Blush and this, like I said, it's an uh, it's a orangey nude. It's like a pale sherbety orange nude. This did not have the best formula, unfortunately. I was a little bit bummed. I wanted to love this. I did pick up three shades though, and this was the lightest one, so I'm thinking that maybe the ones that aren't quite as light will have a better chance at being, um, you know, just a little bit more doable of a formula and less streaky. So, um,. I wouldn't say necessarily go to Torrid just to pick up this nail polish color, um, but we'll see in the weeks to come as I swatch, you know, more Torrid polish in Swatch Fest, um, how I like the rest of them, and then I'll let you know. I didn't notice that they necessarily had enough polishes there for me to do, like, pick all of them up and do, you know, I, you know like a nice eight polish review of Torrid nail polish like I did of the ones at Hot Topic. But if you really want me to do that, I will do it. Just leave it in the comments below and I'll just review like every shade that I can find there. But anyway, this is the one from today. we have a beautiful gold polish from Avon and this one's called Golden Vision. I always have a hard time reading their labels and when I go to show you the label I was you know in the live application portion I always feel like oh this is kind of pointless nobody can read that it's it was way too tiny of writing. Um, this is a beautiful gold metallic polish to go well with my silver metallic I'm wearing here and yeah I really liked it it's great at two coats it's a beautiful kind of antique gold look on the nail. I thought this had a great formula, so yeah, I recommend. I haven't done that in a few weeks. I have my little bucket here of a lot of stuff that I use. This I didn't use everything in this bucket, but I put the things that I used today in the top and then it was just easier to carry it down. So um, I'm not going to really go in any particular order. Let me just you know, pull out some things. So I went back to my favorite highlighting powder from Physicians Formula. I used this blush that I picked up at Marshalls. They had Kat Von D blushes there. Um, a few weeks back when I went and I'd never tried a Kat Von D blush and these are the cute duos. This one's called Sid and Nancy. 
I did haul this on my Snapchat. If you've noticed, I don't really do hauls on my channel anymore because I just have too many videos to do without doing hauls. So I haul everything on my Snapchat. Once in a while, I'll link it on Instagram, but Snapchat is just so much, um, I don't know, it's just so much easier for me. I guess it's not too much easier than Instagram. It's just the platform that I like. So come over and hang out on Snapchat if you like hauls. So this is a pretty peach combined with a coral shade and I did the lighter one here, the darker one on the back side of my cheek. And I only thought it was okay to be honest. I think this was like $6, um, which is pretty good for this blush, but I couldn't really notice it was packing on a lot of pigment. If I look very flushed, that is because I am naturally a very flushed person and the lights in here are very hot. But, you know, I wasn't sure. If you have one of the other duos that you, you know, from this brand of this blush that you really like, let me know because I was, there was like um, four or five of the duos there and I was kind of trying to decide between all of them and I settled on this one, but maybe I didn't pick the right one. You'll have to look. For foundation, I used the Revlon Photo Ready in Ivory and I put this on with my Beauty Blender. I used my Maybelline Fit Me in um, 110 the matte and poreless just to kind of set everything. I use the NARS Radiant Concealer in, can't, oh this is another really small one. This is in the shade Chantilly um, for my under eyes today, which I didn't set and I noticed like 20 minutes later it was doing some creasing, so there's that. On my lips I have this very metallic shimmering looking peach polish from, N or polish, it's not a polish. I think I've said that a million times on my channel when I'm talking about lipstick. It's called Peach Fizz. It's from NYC. I actually really like it. I feel like I like metallic or shimmering lippies once in a blue moon, and I was into it today. All right, on my eyes, I used two L'Oreal quads, or not quads, <laughs> singles. This is um, Little Beige Dress, which I remember Tati raving about, and so I made sure to pick that up. And then the other one I used was this deep, vampy shade Violet Beauté. There's an accent over the Beauté. So um, I used that to deepen it up. I used this Wet n Wild Cold Crayon on the inner rim because they were looking like super red today. I must be tired. Um, Lincoln hasn't been sleeping well, you guys, but that's another story. I used the Voluminous Miss Manga on my lashes. Let's speed this up here. I used the NYC Black Liquid Liner for my cat eye. What else did I use? And then I think that's it besides duo, or besides my Ardell lashes, which are Demi Wispies that I put on with this Lash Duo Glue, which, or no, it's actually Ardell Lash Glue, which is stinky. I don't like this. Oh, and in my brows, I used my regular from Anastasia in Caramel. So I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So my green polish is my A plus polish of the week this week. So we're gonna skip over green and I'm putting this one here instead. This is the one I have on my nails in today's video in the bottle this actually looks very slightly green but i don't i'm not sure that it's necessarily meant to this is again from that brand nana coco that i bought off of hb beauty bar i just tried two and they were both metallic so i'll have to branch out next time if i buy more i find the scent of this so displeasing that i'm not sure i will buy anymore but it has great coverage that's really nice at one coat today it's called Neon Flux, and so I like the coverage, but it's really, really stinky. shade that's kind of similar to what I've got on here, my Ariel shirt. This is Essie Mint Candy Apple and along with the highly raved about Turquoise and Caicos, I picked this one up. So I ordered them both off of, you know, Trans Design or something when I was doing some other order. I decided to pick them up and I did not like Turquoise and Caicos. The formula was horrible. But I did like this one, so I'm very happy about that. This was, you know, it definitely could have been an A plus polish this week if I didn't already love the green so much. This is great at two coats. It's not too sheer or streaky to where that really thin brush is annoying. 
this is actually very beautiful. It's called mint candy apple, but I don't see mint. I see blue. I know I see blues and greens different than a lot of people, but this is a light powdery blue shade to me. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to be doing a whole video of my top picks from the Essie Gel Couture line, but I had so many that I was wanting to review for you guys that I was thinking it was going to be way too long of a video, so I've decided to go ahead and throw them in my Swatch Fest pool. So you're going to be seeing a number, well for a while, some of the Essie Awesome Curvy Gel-like polishes. Again, these are gel-like, they're not gel, these ones with these cool, you know, bottle shape, the twisty bottles, they're not like they're not actually gel, so you can wear them if you don't, you know, cure with gel. Um, so they're gonna be showing up in Swatch Fest. I thought that that was probably a little bit better of a way because they are permanent fixtures to Essie's line. They're gonna be, you know, on Trans Design Beauty probably for a long time where you can pick them up for under six dollars a bottle, which is way better than in drugstore by the way. Um, so yeah, you're going to be seeing them for a while and I hope that you like that so you get to see, you know, see, see them piecemeal and you know, add them as we go along to your favorites. So the first one ever that we're going to talk about from the Gel Couture line, this is called Turn and Pose and it's a very beautiful, deep, kind of dusty blackberry. It's not as, as deep as if they hadn't put any white in here at all. Um, it's so beautiful. It has a great two coat formula. This would have been my A plus polish again like the mint candy apple if I hadn't fallen in love with the f the color of the green not the formula. I almost said formula. This has a far superior formula although I did do two coats. It's beautiful at two coats and it goes on like butter. Um, the green that I'm going to show you does not have as good a formula but the color was just way too cool. So anyway I really enjoyed this. Let's take a look. My neutral shade today comes from Sally Hansen. I love the Extreme Wear line. I need to pick up more new ones from them. I'm going to be scouting for a little while to see if I can find new ones. This one's called Bear It All. I've had this one for a while. It's a beautiful, light, kind of very light, sandy color. It, it looks pretty similar to my skin color, actually. Nah, there's too much peach in there. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is really pretty. It's good at two coats, so I enjoyed it. Alright guys, so another thing that I talked about on Snapchat, I know not all of you are hanging out with me on there, um, so I want to mention it on here. You know back in, what was it, February, February to April around, I started um, my first challenge with Advocare, you guys remember me talking about that, and then I kind of updated you guys on it for a couple months, and then I haven't talked about it for a while, because there was some initial interest from you guys to hear about it, but um, not too much. So I'm not going to go into it a lot. I just wanted to let you know I'm about to start my second challenge because during our whole moving process and basically like from Mother's Day until like a few weeks ago, I was not eating good. Not at all. We were going through the moving process. It was just way too difficult to keep on a really clean eating 
regimen, not regimen, but you know, keeping our house stocked with really clean stuff because we were living on hotels for a while. It was just too crazy. I could make excuses. I could have stayed really good on my diet if I, you know, was a really, really good girl, but I wasn't and I kind of let myself slack. And as soon as you let yourself slack, oh, I started feeling tired again. I started feeling run down. And so I told Tim, I said, as soon as I get this baby weaned, we're going to start another challenge because he was able in the last time we did the challenge to take all the energy supplements that I was not because I didn't want it to go through my milk to joy. And so this time around, I'm really able to take everything. And so I'm really, really excited about it. And so if you were interested in Advocare last time and you weren't quite ready to make that step, but you think you might be ready now, are you just feeling like so tired? Are you feeling like you just want to change? or that you just, you want to feel more healthy, you want to be able to go out and do more activities with your kids. I don't know about you, but when I have, I'm fitting into my pants a little bit better, I feel like being out more. I feel like getting out of my house and going out and playing with the kids outdoors, or going on more dates with my husband, or whatever it is. When I feel better, have more energy, and I, I'm eating cleaner, I feel like doing more things, which therefore enriches my life. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm about to start one. So if you had wanted to before and it wasn't the right time for you, right now might be the perfect time for you because if we do this challenge together, we'll kind of be like on the same page and we can root for each other and all that kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments below if you're interested or you can of course just send me a personal message. You can send me one to my business email. If you don't want to leave it in the comments, I can talk to you about Advocare. I really love the program and the supplements and everything and my whole family is actually into it now. I have a huge family, there's eight children. Everybody is reaping the benefits of it and so anyway, that's enough talk about Advocare but I just wanted to let you know I'm about to start another one. So if you see some changes with me again, if I seem like I have a lot more energy, that is why and so yeah, let me know because I'm going to start in about a week and a half. Um, we don't have to start at exactly the same time, but that would be awesome if we did. So let me know if you want to do the challenge with me and it starts with a cleanse. So it's taking lots of fiber and stuff and it's just really helping you cleanse stuff out so your body is ready to receive all the clean food. All right, let's get back on track with the nail polish. We're ready for our last two polishes. So our glitter today is a beautiful silver and holographic mix and this is in a clear base. Again, another pure ice polish. Um, this one is called Dazzle Me and it's gorgeous. I love silver and holographic polishes over nude, so that's what I'm gonna show you today over the nude polish we just talked about. I just love that look. I think it just looks so pretty. One of my very favorite ways to wear glitter. This one has quite a loud holographic presence, which I really enjoy. It's got very small silver um, glitters, and it's got slightly larger hex glitters. Really, really fun polish. I enjoyed it a lot. Alright guys, are you ready for this A plus polish? This is the shade. I showed this to you guys a few weeks back and I picked this up at the same time that I picked up all of the mega last polishes that have been showing up in Swatch Fest for the past few weeks. This is called Split Pea Soup. Talk about the perfect way to ruin peas is making split pea soup. I just, my mom made that way too often when I was a kid and I literally hate it and I hated it every single time she made it and it's just something about the kind of filmy texture is not good. And I don't even have like a general texture issue with food, but I do not like split pea soup. So this is happily my favorite way to indulge in split pea soup now is this polish. Okay, so you will see it does not have a perfect formula, unfortunately. It's not necessarily problematic, it's just, it's not perfectly streak free at two coats. So you could either just deal with it, and I'm just gonna show you two coats, and I thought it was fine. But um, you could go for a third, and it'll just be fine. Of course, it has the beautiful wide mega last brush that helps you just cover that whole nail. Um, it's just the color, it's the color, guys. The color is so fun. I do not have a lot of polishes like this. Um, it's just so, so pretty, and so that's why it was my A-plus shade, so yeah, I absolutely was gaga for this color.
Alright guys, so that was Swatch Fest. I hope you had some fun hanging out with me. It is getting close to 12 o'clock at night. That seems to be my usual filming schedule around here because it's when I know everything will be quiet. It's not the best for me trying to make sure I get some sleep, but it's when I know that I can have some time to myself, feel like I can talk about the polish as long as I want to without interruptions, and um, I don't have to be mommy for a minute. I can just be a polishaholic baby. So um, yeah, that was all Swatch Fest. Let me know in the comments what your favorite polish of the week was. Let me know if you guys watched a super awesome movie or if there's a TV show you really want to watch that's coming up. Let me know so that I can make sure to watch it too. You guys know I'm a media fiend. Um, and yeah, anything that went on with you in your week that you want to let me know about, that's great as well. You can always enter the giveaway. The rules for the giveaway are in the description bar if you are new and you don't know what that's about. I do a giveaway every single Saturday. So I think that's it. I hope you had some fun hanging out with me today. Give me a big hug. I hope you're having a great week and that this next week's going to be even better. Take care and I will see you guys back very soon. I have so many videos coming up. I can't wait to share them with you. All right, take care. Bye. All right guys, so we've got two more purples, the first of which is a very iridescent, opalescent looking polish. And lots of times in the past when I've reviewed polishes like this, they've been so sheer that it's disappointing. You have to wear them as a top coat, etc., etc. This one is called Set the Duotone, and I loved this. This may be my favorite out of the collection, 